Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to graph peppers. And before I do any how-to video, I always test my method to make sure it works. Then I'll show everyone how, how to do that. Two weeks ago, I did a grafting on this pepper tree. This is a chocolate scotch bonnet. I grafted a Trinidad scorpion cardi onto it. And everything looks great, and it's working. I have another video that I did to show the grafting on this. But it, well, it didn't have much details on how to do it, and so a few people were interested on exactly what I did. So I'll show you. First, what you want to do is you want to pick a branch, a nice branch that you want to cut off. So I selected this section here. So you want it at the node area where the splits are. If they have flowers there, it's okay. And also, when you select a branch, you also want to select a a scion, I think that's what they call it, that matches exactly the size of that that node area. So I have here a Bonnema Jacques. I have a couple of these so it's okay to if I do some testing with this and if it failed I still have backup. So there's my spot right there that I have selected. The size of the branch there match pretty much perfectly up to this tree that I'm gonna graft onto that. So the items you will need to do this uh, are very simple. You don't need any expensive stuff. Uh, I have here is the Glad Cling Wrap. You can get that at any grocery store. And you need a pair of scissors. Because you're going to cut branches off here. If there are multiple branches, you want to use the scissors or any shears or sharp knife to cut that off. And you need tape. I got these double-sided tape, but you don't need double-sided tape. Any tape will work and a razor blade. That's it. So first what you want to do is clear out this section right here. To clear out the area you just need to use your scissor and cut this spot out. So what I'm gonna do now is just cut this section and clear everything. you can use this to graft onto something else or clone it or propagate it then I'll just remove all of the leaves so what I have left are those flowers you could just use a razor blade to cut those off you want to cut it as close as possible to that um, to that node area Alright, those, this section that I'm working with has been cleared, everything has been cut out. So now I'm going to cut the plant that you will graft on. This is my Banda Maja. You can call this piece a scion. So what I'll do now is I'll cut this in half. So when you cut your scion, you want to give it good enough space. And if it's your first time, you want give it a, a good length here because if you make mistakes, you can still cut up a little bit more. So let me show you what, uh, what I'm doing. I will cut the scion probably around right here, leaving this much left. And when you do this, you want to use a razor blade. It's a, it's, it works better that way because it gives you a smoother cut down the line. I will cut this at an angle. And I'll leave that to the side. You can either use a razor blade to cut all these leaves off because you don't need these anymore. You can cut this in half. Alright, so here's what I have. Now, what I want to do is I want to give it a nice cut on both sides. This is where this is the tough part here because if you cut it wrong, you have to do it again and again. And if you <laughs> mess up multiple times, you may have to use a new scion. Let's cut uh, around here. Just just at an angle on both sides, and be careful not to cut your finger. Then you want to do this side as well.
you want a smooth cut so that it make the bottom sort of like a sharp which is a, a V shape in some way uh, see I just messed up there so I'll do it again there you go that's a good cut right there a little bit more on this side see how it looks like right now that's exactly what I want so make sure this this spot is clean so I'm gonna put it down onto my plate so what we're gonna do next is go back to this node area and use a razor blade to slice this right down the center alright here's our razor blade so you want to give it a nice cut down the middle so be careful with this part because this is also a very tricky part and the razor blade is really sharp so and the branches is very soft so you want to be really careful to cut it right down the middle So just use your other hand to hold it a little bit and be careful not to cut your finger now cut it like around half an inch alright so that's cut then you want to take this part and don't touch that because you don't want to get it dirty so you work your way and force it in like that what you want to do next is uh, you want to get your piece of saran wrap trying to fold it as much as possible this is also the tricky part because it's really tough and make it about that size and then what you want to do is you want to wrap this around here you want all the spots that are cut to make contact with each other when you wrap these up give it a, some force because you want to pull it together See, when you work with this, it's kind of move around, so make sure you just tighten it as you work. And the reason is wrapped up here so that no moisture can get in and infect that area. There we go. That's how it should look. You don't want anything to get in here, so get a Ziploc bag and cover it at the top like this. Just like that. After a day or two, this Scion is, is going to shrivel a little bit, but it'll pick up because it's, uh, it's going through some really big shock right now. Some leaves may fall off in, in the next few days. Give it about two weeks before you open this up. Hopefully everything works well. It'll be working just like that. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to let me know. And thank you for watching.